need to be in a caloric deficit to lose visceral fat. Then how would you lose the fat? Hey Kim, I'm actually really, really glad that you stitched this video. So if you don't know me, I'm a board certified obstetrician gynecologist and I'm also a nutritionist. And I see that you are a menopause weight loss specialist when I went to your website. I'm not sure of your certification or training, but you look amazing. Because it's not the type of food you eat that's going to determine whether you lose fat or whether you don't. It's how much the total number of calories. So I think the point you're missing from the original video is that there are two types of fat in the body. There is subcutaneous fat, the one that you're referring to, and there's also visceral fat, the one I was referring to. What you probably don't understand is these types of fat are very, very different. Subcutaneous fat is the fat under our skin. It's what you can pinch an inch with, what gives us our curves. Visceral fat is the fat that wraps around our organs internally, around the omentum, the gut, the stomach, the liver, etc. The deposition of visceral fat is driven by nutritional choices, inflammation, aging, high cortisol, insulin levels. It is not driven by a calorie surplus. Visceral fat is dangerous and metabolically active. High levels of visceral fat in an individual, even if they have a normal BMI, are linked to increased heart disease, diabetes, stroke, cancer, and multiple other disease processes. There are medically proven ways to reduce the amount of visceral fat that have nothing to do with calorie restriction, and this has been proven in multiple studies. Not to mention, you can't spot reduce fat. So how would your body know, oh, this is visceral fat here, so we need to have fiber and less sugar to remove this fat, but fat here or here, it's okay. You don't need those things. Nope. So to be clear, subcutaneous fat tends to be driven by a caloric excess, but visceral fat is driven by inflammation and hormones, and you absolutely can spot reduce visceral fat with nutritional changes. I hope you learned something important here, and it's gonna help you become a better advocate for all of the people following your program. Good luck.